Hey, John Ho Bryant, this is Money and Wealth on the Black Effect Network podcast uh, series for iHeartRadio and the Black Effect Network. And this is a fan question from at DF underscore Nicole, at DF underscore Nicole on Instagram. What are wise retirement investments? Uh, what are wise retirement investment focuses for someone at 35 who just started? First of all, great question at a great time. 35 years old is a perfect time um, for you to get serious about life. You've had your fun in your 20s. You were you did stuff in your teens that you don't want anybody to know about. It's all a blur. <laughs> and now you're in your 30s. You're like, okay, I guess I should grow up and, and get serious about this thing. The first thing you should do is if you're working at um, any kind of mature company or certainly major company, uh, they're going to have some kind of retirement program. They're going to have a 401k plan. The number one thing you should do is invest in that 401k. If they're uh, matching you dollar for dollar, you invest $5 every paycheck into your 401k program. They invest $5 to match you. It's dollar for dollar. That's free money. That, that, that $5 match is free money. And that $10 now is going to be invested in the stock market or whatever it is that you signed up for with your employer. Check uh, your uh, 401k program and make sure that you are uh, signed up for the kind of investment and the kind of risk tolerance that uh, you're comfortable with uh, with your money. But whatever it is, you're getting the, the magic of compounding and free money. Again, you put in your $5, they had matched you $5 in this example. The company then took through typically a fiduciary, a third party, the $10 now in this example from the pay period. And they've invested that in stocks or bonds or treasury bills or whatever it is you've authorized them to invest in. And that's going to start building momentum in the investment market and over time will build equity and there's no guarantees and in investments that will work out uh prosperous but the likelihood is you stick to it over the long term you'll probably do better than okay and if you keep investing every two weeks as you get a paycheck put it on auto pay don't think about it set and release in fact i employ, encourage employers to have an opt out strategy for 401k for their employees versus opt in people who are financially illiterate or not financially literate are not going to opt in to 401k investing they're not going to say hey take some money out of my paycheck they're going to take we'll take every one of their dollars short term thinking surviving mindset for my book up from nothing i have a new book out by the way that's called financial literacy for all that you should get but which is a great primer for this conversation. But my book, Up From Nothing, talked uh, about people who have a surviving mindset, a thriving mindset, and a winning mindset. And will, winners of builders have a long-term uh, outlook. Uh, but those with a surviving mindset want to get theirs right now. So it'll take every one of that piece of that paycheck and go spend it or whatever. I want you to, uh, I want the employers to have an opt-out strategy, meaning that you are an investor in uh, every employee is immediately enrolled in 401k matching program. They have to request to opt out of that. Likewise, when you sign up as an employee, uh, when you go to the HR department, sign your documents, tell them you want to opt in to the 401k program. Um, and then you tell them how much of your paycheck, either by dollar amount or percentage, you want taken out of your paycheck. And don't don't get afraid. If you have a crisis or emergency, there are ways to get your money out. It's not locked up forever. This is your money. And when you leave, that goes with you. Uh, 401ks in most places have almost replaced uh, what used to be called pension funds, the traditional retirement accounts like that. So this is really important for building for the future. And it's free money. And uh, it's the smartest, easiest thing for you to do. And then you get to determine what that 401k investment is going to go into for your money, plus the free money from your employer, which is yours for life. Um, and government, you have a, a crisis in your life, you can go and get an emergency withdrawal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, and it's with regard to the kind of investments I would invest, uh, suggest 
maybe starting with a mutual fund uh, or, uh, you know, start with if you want to buy individual stocks, if that's your thing, then do things that you recognize uh, from your own life. But anyway, I'm over answering uh, the question. When I say do things you recognize, the stuff that you love, right? Uh, the kind of companies that are that occupy your daily life. You, the, most of those companies are publicly traded. But to answer the question, 401k matching program all day, all night, free money. And when I, I looked at Operation Hope one day and a very small percentage of my employees were taking advantage of that, I was embarrassed because I'm running a financial literacy organization. Now I'm proud to say the vast majority of my employees, the overwhelming majority of my employees are now participants in the 401k program. We are helping them to build wealth and not just make money. It's John O'Brien. Uh, go read the book, Financial Lucy for All, pre-order it, so, uh, tell your friends to subscribe to this podcast, uh, get your financial coaching through Operation Hope, and change your life. John O'Brien, Money and Wealth, I'm out. Thank you, at DF underscore Nicole on Instagram.